What's up, everybody? Joe White here, and um, if you hear any sudden clinking around or booms or crashes in the background, I'm actually driving down the road while I record this. Um, want to talk a little bit about, again, GTA 6 today, and uh, talk a little bit about how social media, as I adjust the heating in this thing, this truck is... Uh, sorry. Um, I want to talk about GTA 6, and I want to talk a little bit about how the social media aspect of GTA 6 is going to work. Um, we saw, you know, a woman, a, a black woman, working on the, on the roof of a car while rolling down the road wearing a bikini, and the social media... The, the, the tag on it was somebody called the Department of Transportation on this dump truck. And I'll try to put a video or a photo of this here as the first thing. Um, I, there's a lot of social media going on in this trailer. There's, there's TikTok things and Instagram and Twitter and all this stuff. Uh, we've already established that there is in this version of GTA, uh, in this version of the universe, the, the HD universe, as they call it, um, that there is social media. You have their version of Twitter, which I forget what the name of it is, is right off the bat. Um, you also have Life Invader, which is their version of Facebook. Maybe you'll see their version of uh, Instagram and TikTok. Um, so. I think this will play in very much into real life in that you'll see certain things in this world that are going to pop up on these versions of these services. And uh, like the woman with the two hammers, that the old lady with the two hammers, it goes, look who's back. That's inspired by something that has happened in real life. Go look it up. There's a little Asian girl with two hammers walking around smashing stuff on a TikTok or Instagram, whatever social media platform. I'm sure it spans all of them by now. Um, I think this is going to be a a world where you're going to see a lot of NPCs on their phones. Um, if something's happening, like a car chase starts happening, all of a sudden the NPCs are going to whip out their phones and start filming it. Um, and then maybe you can start filming it and upload that to the Rockstar Social Club. Um, or maybe, maybe life invader actually becomes a thing. Um, and, and rockstar releases life invader and a life invader app that is exclusively for GTA six content. Um, PlayStation owners like myself are kind of miffed because I can no longer go about two years ago. They, they got rid of Facebook and just a couple of months ago, they got rid of Twitter. So I can no longer share my gameplay footage on Twitter or Facebook. I have to upload it to YouTube, if that's even going to be still a thing by the time this game comes out. And I have to take it from YouTube and then put it on my Facebook or Twitter um, <clears throat> to share it on those platforms. Why they didn't just leave a built-in app to these things, I'll never know. Um, so I think also it's going to play into a lot of politics in the game. Um, Paul, you know, you're going to see a Donald Trump like character in this game. There's no doubt about it. You can't satirize this country and the things going on in this country without having Donald Trump or a Donald Trump esque figure in there. Um, it's, it's hard to believe, but when GTA five was released, Back in 2013, Barack Obama was halfway through his second term, I believe, or just starting his second term. So a lot has changed in the world. A lot has changed with the cancel culture. And I'm sorry. Again, I'll say it again. I think when it comes to the video game world, Rockstar is immune from cancel culture. There's no way they're getting canceled. If you can't cancel South Park, you can't cancel Rockstar games. Um, I also think that, you know, you're going to see like a, maybe a version of Logan Paul is in this video game. 
Maybe Logan Paul himself is going to be a voice in the game. We don't know yet. There's a lot of unknown stuff that we don't know. Um, of course, it's we don't know it because it's unknown. Um, I'm passing a drive-in movie theater up here near Cleveland, Ohio. That's crazy to think. I, I would love to see more drive-in movie theaters around this country. Anyway, uh, sorry, I got off topic. That's why I shouldn't be driving while I'm recording. But I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone out here today. Um, let's see. I, as far as social media goes, get, trying to get back on track. I think that also, you know, we'll see them implemented in the story. Maybe you have to do missions for one of these social media influencers. I hate the term influencer because you don't influence me at all. And no, nobody should let themselves be influenced by you. Um, nobody should be influenced by a Logan Paul or a Pokemane or anything like that. Um, you know, maybe we'll see, maybe, maybe you can get in-game cash and become monetized on Life Invader. Maybe you can become, you know, film your robberies and have them broadcast live on the Life Invader app or something like that. We know it exists. They would not have focused this hard on it in this trailer there would not have been such a hardcore focus on the social media apps and on social media playing an influence in the life they're in this world if they were not going to feature it in some way sorry um i had to take a drink of there yeah man ohio northern ohio is dry this time of year it's crazy but I think that was, like I said, we're going to see a lot of a lot of social media influence. I think maybe some in-game currency is going to be involved here as far as that social media influence. Um, the scene where the um, it looks like a piece from Grand Theft Auto Online. I'll try to see if I can't put a mugshot in it here, or a mugshot, a screenshot of it here. There's a scene where it looks like something out of Grand Theft Auto Online where there's a character with their face all tatted up and um, they're taking a mug shot. And it kind of looks like something you would do in GTA Online when you would create your character. But that's based off of a real life person and that real life person is calling out Rockstar Games for it. I read it on Kotaku the other day that this person whose face is all tatted up, whose videos got out there. It's very clear that Rockstar took influence from this person. Again, Rockstar loves to take things from real life and include it in the real in this video game world. I mean, look at what happened with GTA 5. The infamous blonde mascot from GTA 5 was reference referencing Lindsay Lohan. And I believe Lindsay Lohan either did sue or was contemplating suing Rockstar Games out of it. Um, the character of Wade is Violent J, or excuse me, or uh, you know, or Shaggy from I think it's Shaggy, I'm not too sure. I'm not having brushed up on my ICP lately, but anyway, the character of Wade is wearing ICP makeup, and the ICP people were asked about that with a, a, a U shoot, um, on a U shoot program, which for those who don't know is a professional wrestling interview program. Because the ICP dabble in professional wrestling. They own a wrestling promotion, Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Whoop, whoop. But uh, they, they, they said, hey, that's cool. You know, it, it got downloads for us. It got me out there again. So Rockstar loves to take things from the real world and parody it and, and satire it, satirize it, put it in here. So I think we're going to see a lot more of that. I think we're going to see a hell of a lot more of it. And uh, th that's all I have here. I want to thank you guys for uh, listening to this and watching it. Please hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Share, share, share. And we'll see you down the road. I got to get moving here toward Pennsylvania.